what's up guys welcome back to the antler grow channel once again my name is Dave Richmond with Whitetail Obsession Outdoors today we're going to talk about a very important topic and that's mix ratios when you're mixing the antler grow and MPK because the question comes in constantly and that's fine um, because people always have questions and that's you know questions are good but uh, I don't think I've ever made a video about this so I wanted to put this up on the channel to help some people uh, because for whatever reason uh, people you, know, you guys are still a little you know confused or you know mixed up on how to mix the antler grow properly and what you know antler grow themselves recommend and that's what we're going to talk about today so real quick antler grow is your micros micronutrition your farmer's touch is your MPK and it's a five the MPK is a 5138 it's a fertilizer this is your micronutrition. These two can be combined together with a ratio that we're gonna talk about. They can be mixed together with water, sprayed at the same exact time. Antler Grow is the same company. Of Farmers Touch is just a brand under Antler Technologies. So it's owned by the same company because this that question always pops up as well. So we're gonna jump right into it. When you're mixing Antler Grow, okay, the cap that you unscrew off the bottle is one ounce. So what Antler Grow recommends is one cap full, one ounce, per gallon of water. So you're going to mix one ounce per gallon of water on existing plants. On, when you're spraying the one ounce per gallon of water, okay, on natural brows, natural brows has the ability to withstand more of what you're spraying, so of a higher ratio because it's very potent. It's micronutrients, it's got a sticker and surfactant in there, it's very potent stuff. More is not better in this situation, but natural brow, brows is there year round, so it it's in the elements, it withstands, it's, it goes through harsh conditions, it goes through wind and rain and cold and heat. So it has, it's adapted to these conditions so it can withstand more of what, you know, what you're doing to it, feeding it those micronutrients. So when you're spraying vegetation, natural browse, one ounce per gallon of water. When you're getting into fresh, brand new food plots, food plots that we plant, when the plants are four to six inches tall, four to six inches, you cut that back to a half ounce per gallon of water. So when the plants are brand new, four to six inches tall, four to six inches, cut the ratio back to a half ounce per gallon of water. When the plants are about eight, 10, 12 inches tall, whether no matter what it is you're spraying, soybeans, you know, your clovers, uh, buckwheat, um, iron clay cowpeas, Egyptian wheat, sorghum, whatever it is, the foot tall, hit it with a, with a full one ounce per gallon of water, okay? When you're doing this, I get this question all the time. They say, well, I got to calibrate my sprayer. I got to do this. I need to know how much water to put in this and throw all that out the window. Follow this, one ounce per gallon of water, newly uh, new fresh vegetation or food plots, half ounce per gallon of water. The amount of water that you need is 25 gallons per acre. 25 gallons of water per acre. So you're going to take 25 gallons of water and mix 25 ounces of antler grow in that and go ahead and spray. Natural browse, whatever it is. If you're using uh, it's a fresh, fresh plot, four to, inches, four to six inches tall. You're going to mix 25 gallons of water and cut that back to a half ounce per gallon of water. And do the math here. One ounce, so it would be 25. So it's going to be like 12 and a half uh, ounces of antler grow per 25 gallons of water per acre. The jug of antler grow covers five acres. It's 128 ounces. Do the math on it, it comes out to about 25 gallons of water per acre, and uh, that's the ratio for antler grow. 
and PK, Farmer's Touch. It's the same exact thing, okay? The, the recommended rate on the MPK is a half ounce per gallon of water. Half ounce per gallon of water, okay? You can use one ounce per gallon of water because that, that's what I do. And you don't have to do that. That way the, the Antler Grow recommends a half ounce per gallon of water. It's okay to do one ounce, but you have to be careful. You know, like I said, go back to the four to six inches, you know, scenario, cut it back. You, you know, use your half ounce per gallon of water. If it's fresh or, you know, existing plants, then you can do the one ounce per gallon of water. It's the same thing. MPK Farmer's Touch mixed with 25 gallons of water per acre. Mix these two together. You can do the one ounce of antler grow, one ounce of MPK, mix together and 25 gallons of water. Same ratio. Always the you know the company antler technologies they want they want you to put 25 gallons of water per acre. No calibration, no nothing like that. Measure it out, 25 gallons, spray your one acre, measure your one acre out, spray it with the one ounce to one ounce ratio of antler grow and MPK. I spray this about every 30, 45 days or so, every 60 days. Antler Technologies recommends about every two months, every eight weeks or so. You can do every six, you can do every four, you can do every two, as long as you're getting rain on there. Uh, spray early mornings, late afternoons, if it's uh, very hot out because you got the sun and you got the sticker and surfactant on there, it acts, you know, that they, they act like a magnifying glass. So if you're getting sun on there, you know, it, it can heat up that plant. So you have to be, it's very potent stuff, you know. It's, uh, you, more is not better in this situation. Not gonna be a company out there that tells you to don't use, don't use a lot of it because we're telling you that it's very potent. You know, just follow the ratios. Early mornings, late afternoons, if, it, if it's hot out, you'll be good to go. And uh, the more you spray, the more those nutrients build up in the plant and it'll last, you know, through tissue analysis and stuff, they'll last, you know, longer as time goes on. There's, you know, nutrients and stuff build up in that plant. And uh, we're getting ready to spray again here shortly. So I wanted to bring this video to you guys because this question always pops up. Follow it. One ounce to one ounce ratio per 25 gallons of water. Put that 25 gallons of water on the product, on the uh, plants. Spray to the point of no runoff. You don't want any runoff. If it's dripping off the leaves, it's too much. The plants just need to be mist, you know, just a mist on there, and you're good to go. If it's dripping on the soil, does you no good. Dries within minutes. Rain fast on contact. It can rain five minutes later. You're good to go. I get this question all the time as well. Don't worry about the rain. We spray in the rain. We just up the ratio a little bit, and you're good to go. So any questions guys, post them down below. Give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel guys. If uh, you're not subscribed, uh, this channel, you know, I, I manage this channel here. I'm, you know, putting videos out, educational videos about the products and what you can and can't spray and how to use it and different things like that. So give the uh, channel, you know, subscribe to it and uh, we'll see you on the next video.